All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to walk you through on how to set up a Raspberry Pi using either a USB uh, audio card or the Fee Pi that you can uh, get offline, which is pretty nice. It's just a hat that gets uh, placed right on top of the pie, and this will work with any pie, really. Uh, I like the Pi 2, 3, and obviously the uh, W, I mean the 0. So what we're going to do is, <clears throat> I'm going to use the uh, Raspberry Pi 0 with the Feed Pi, since I have it. If not, like I said, you can use one of these USBs, but you need an adapter to plug into there, unless you got a USB hat for the Pi. And if you're using like a 2 or a 3 or something, you can just uh, plug it obviously right into the pie. <clears throat> but we're going to use this to feed audio to radioreference.com that actually feeds it to broadcastafeed.com. So we're going to use the pie. We're going to use this, like I said. We're going to come out of the scanner radio into the line end on here the pink which would be the pink also on your USB the orange is for the speaker but we're not concerned about that we just are concerned about the mic in or line in now to in order to use this we need to uh, add a line in the config other than that, that's it. There's no other driver, no nothing really required. And to really get these to work, you really don't need nothing. Uh, you do a simple A play dash L, and you should be able to see it on reboot. So, uh, in my next video, I'm going to show you how to uh, set up the software. It's pretty simple and how to apply to get your feed approved we'll have to make an account with radio reference which i already have which is pretty simple basic stuff then you got to fill out a uh, thing to submit your feed that you're willing to upload and uh, once it's approved they send you a password amount number uh, the url and the port number then once you're approved you get a free premium membership through radio reference and stuff for uh, uploading uh, the audio so stay tuned all right we're back uh, now I'm going to show you how to set this up so what we'll need to do is uh, do an update upgrade which I already have so now we need to install some dependencies so this may take a little bit here on the W but we'll let it go for now and I already have the uh, <coughs> The fee pie <clears throat> put in on top of the uh, connected to the pie. I don't have my radio or nothing hooked up to the pie for the frequency that we're going to use to upload to uh, radio reference and broadcast a fee. So. Alright, so that one's done. So now we need to install some other ones here. So the next thing we need to do is... We'll go ahead and change the uh, config 
add the line in for the Phi Pi. Now, if you're using the USB sound card, you will not have to do this. This is only for if you end up using the uh, Phi Pi hat. So, we need to edit a config here in order for this to work so we're going to go ahead and do this now so when we reboot the Pi uh, <clears throat> we won't have to uh, do it again so all we're going to do is add the following to the bottom here and if you really want to you can disable you could turn this off change the on up here to off if you want to disable the uh, built-in audio on the uh, Pi itself but we can just let it go <clears throat> so now we'll do a reboot and I'll be back alright so now I'm back into the Pi so what we need to do is we need to do an A play dash L to list and as you can see, we can see the Phi Pi. Now, if you're using the USB, it will say like USB, whatever. So what we need to do is write down or just remember, we need to remember one and zero. That's the only two things we need to remember, regardless it's, if it's a Phi Pi or it's a USB uh, adapter for the audio so we just need to remember one and zero because we'll need that at a later date <clears throat> all right so now if we do the following here let me cancel that we're going to do the following command here and that's going to bring up our audio now since i didn't disable it you're going to see that so if we do a F6, F5 for all. Well, we'll do an F6. What the hell? Uh, let's see. I got to do a function F6, so you may have to do that. I don't know. But we'll do an F6, and we're going to select the Phi Pi. Now this might look garbled like it's the old 8-bit uh, system from back in the day. So what we're going to do is for we don't need the headphones so we can hit M to uh, mute all that if we want. We don't need that. We can turn that down a little bit. We don't need to worry about the line out. We're only going to be worrying about this guy right here so if you put on the capture we're going to change that to line in so that's what we want we can hit M here to uh, turn off that so <clears throat> and we're going to turn up the mic to like 50 knot now the thing is we'll let that 60 for the capture uh, line out we don't need to worry about so we can just hit M there I mean this this thing does a lot so we're only concerned about changing the capture to line in and we're going to be focusing on the mic or the capture so it's basically the same thing with a USB sound card you won't have all these options but we're only going to be focusing on the mic side of it, the headphone, we're not really concerned. So, once you're done with that, we could just hit escape. Then we're going to do a pseudo. Then the following here, and we're going to store this so our settings don't get lost. Now, that might be something you might have to come back at a later date when your feed's up and working. Because your audio might be too loud not loud enough so that's something you may have to come back and uh, mess with 
So now we're going to download uh, a program called Dark Ice. So we'll unpack it here. So now what we're going to do is we got to move a few things around here. And I'm, I'll have all these commands on my website so you don't have to uh, worry about typing all this stuff in. But uh, it's not too hard to get this set up. Now, <clears throat> once you're in this uh, file here, this is where I said about we had to remember the 1 0. So, this is already by default the way we need it. But, depending, you may have to change that 0 to a 1 or whatever to match your setup. Other than that, the only thing we need to change next is your server, your port, your password, your mount, and the name of your feeder. So... Alright, so once you have an account set up with Radio Reference, once you log in, <clears throat> you want to click on your feeds. Then down here, on the previous page, you'll see uh, a little button there to uh, set up a feed. Then you'll come down through here and you'll have to check all this. Then once you do that... So if we do this quick, then you'll go to another page, then uh, you'll want to select whatever it may be for, and like a, the title of it, and a description, then you'll choose your country your city your state and submit then once you're <clears throat> you do that you'll just basically wait on an email saying that it's approved or not then your uh, it'll be listed under your feeds then after that Then after that, it'll look like this. So what you'll want to do is you'll click on this guy. So let me move this out of the way here. So once you're... Uh, you'll come over here, then you'll have to log in. Then down here, it'll say Manage Feed. Then once you go to Manage Feed, you'll click on uh, Technical tab. And then when you scroll down, you'll see the password for mount, uh, your URL, the port, which will be 80, and your password. And that's what gets plugged in here. And uh, leave out the following for your mount you only want the letters and numbers do not put that slash in there <clears throat> then whatever the password is this should be the same other than you'll just have to replace this x with like a number of some sort then the feed is basically the same name that you gave your feed the title so uh once you're done with that, you want to plug in out of your scanner or radio, whatever you're using, into the microphone input, and uh, we can step back to this. Now, they, they are using this command here, which may not work. You may have to replace this to, say, the following in order for it to uh, start on boot up. Now, if it doesn't do that, what I normally do is I'll just go in here and uh, put in the following 
but other than putting start in, I will put in uh, restart. Now, it's not working because I don't have my uh, information in there. So, uh, you may have to mess with it because I had issues in the past of getting this command or wherever it went. Let me pull it back up here. That command to work. So you may have to either try that one or try this one here. So other than that, it's maybe a little bit of a game with your audio settings. But once you get it done, you know, <clears throat> you're good to go. And hopefully it all goes well. So uh, other than that. I'll throw a link in the description to my website for the commands, and uh, hopefully it helps out. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one.